for all of you all that have commented about my hair, I've gone to the summer look. You're welcome. Welcome back to Chubby Chase Farm. I appreciate you watching. I'm John. I'm the farmer. I'm the marketer. I'm the delivery person. I'm the unpaid intern. Many hats here on the farm when you're a solo operation. The Dardies aren't real happy about me um, coming into their flock of chickens. They said they're going to come after me. I'm not too worried about them. The morning generally always starts with moving the covers here on our pasture raised chickens. This is our second batch, 500 chickens here. They are just over five weeks old. Weighed them yesterday. They're all pushing four pounds. Doing really good. I've still only lost two birds. One that I ran over with a tractor and one that got in a feeder. So these birds are doing exceptional out here on pasture. You can see them kind of ranging out here. But enough about the chickens. Today's a pig day. We're going to go pick up nine new piglets to add to the ten that we already have. Get on the road and get them and get them up into our pig paddock. <laughs> Just a short drive today. It's only about five miles away from where our farm is to pick up these piglets. It's always nice when you don't have to go real far and support another local farmer that's in your community. Well, here's where those pigs were born, farrowed, and grew up. Right here are the piglets. sitting here in the pen ready to go <coughs> I'm here with my friend April we're um, at April's pig farming she's farrowed all these piglets out here on pasture so the local farmer right here in Stanford Kentucky um, April what can you tell us about these little pigs that we got back here um, they're about six seven weeks old um, they're Berkshire and Yorkshire and Durko mix they're going to end up being great. They were all out here on pasture. Everything you do is on yes. pasture. Looks like we've got us a mama out here. we got us a mama sow running around. We're going to load these pigs up and we're going to keep an eye out for the mama. They're not real happy when we take the babies away. <laughs>
Here's the daddy to those piglets. They're doing what pigs do right here, laying in the shade. But that's why you see a lot of color on these. And April, this right here, this is the Berkshire, right? Yes. So that's the Berkshire mm -hmm. boar. And we've kind of had an uh, introduction to the mama. Um, she was introducing herself the entire time we were loading out the piglets. Well, we're loaded up, heading back to the farm. Uh, I think I, earlier I had said there was nine piglets. There was actually ten. I don't know whether you could tell it on the video right there. But the mama, the mama sow of that litter of piglets, she had jumped out of the pen. Like any good mama, she's not real happy about you taking her babies away. So we were having to grab piglets, and I was holding a hot shot, trying to watch out for the mama as we were loading them up, keep her off of us. But we got it all loaded, and mama is now settled down. And We'll take these piglets up here and we'll get them up in the pig paddock. Start getting them used to me and to my white five gallon bucket and to electricity. If you've watched the previous videos, you know all about my pig paddock. You can check them out. It is grown up. I did have to go weed eat around it. You see my electric wire. I have it turned off right now. When I let them out, I don't want them to immediately get into the wire. Let's see if we can get these pigs to run. Oh wow. Do you remember the last video I had to pick up each one and get them out? These little fellas were ready to go. Some of them rooting around a little bit. They're right in the middle of that electric. If I had that turned on, they would be getting scalded right now. The downside to not having it turned on, I'm sure they're gonna tear it up. But we'll give them a few hours in here to get settled in, then I'll turn the electric on. So it's been a couple hours, and I've turned the electric on. You can see them. They're learning about it the hard way. They're not sure what to think about it. They may not even fully know what it exactly it is that's getting them. Back up here with the little pigs. It's been about 48 hours. They started out pretty skittish as you saw, but I've spent some time up here feeding them then sitting on the bucket. I just put some feed in their trough, you see. Before they'd run to the other side of the pen from me. Now even while I'm talking here, they're they're hanging out. I make sure I don't give them any sudden movements. But otherwise, really healthy, really bright-eyed, um, alert, energetic. I don't have any lethargic ones. They're all, they're just really healthy, really good little piglets. I think they're gonna be fine. They'll be up here at least a couple weeks as we get to know each other. I think they're pretty familiar with the electric fence at this point, but I wanna be understand that when I show up I brought food with me so they're coming to me especially if I if I ever have a mishap and they get loose when they're on pasture there's still a few of these available whole or half share you can find out more information about them at cubbychasefarm.com I appreciate everyone watching have a great week